Chip. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Listen, Giannis Antetokounmpo, he Ooh, was buddy. recently on Serge Ibaka podcast. And he was talking about this international team. And he said that they would defeat LeBron James-led uh, Team USA team. It sparked a lot of debate over social media. Um, Giannis' team would be Luka, Evan Fournier, Giannis, Joker, and B against Steph, Clay, Brian, KD, and Bam Adebayo. Keep it a C note. Is Giannis correct? Because I've seen a lot of people saying Giannis was crazy. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me. Go, go, ahead, go, ahead, go, ahead, go, ahead, go. Ahead. Giannis is fault. He's wrong. They wouldn't defeat them. They would beat the shit out of them. <laughs> First and foremost, I wouldn't put Evan for you. I would put um, Pascal. He's goofy Siaka. as shit for that. Yeah. <laughs> I would put Pascal Siaka. I got Shout somebody better you. than him. I would put. I would take Pascal. Who they, would you put? Kyrie Irving. Kyrie was born in Australia. Oh yeah, yeah. he is an awesome. But for and they not like you look at the top like the start five. But motherfuckers not taking consideration what the bench would look like. Right? What? Oh my god! Like you got, especially on the defense side, you got to go bury and all types of like. But in on the, the USA side of things, everybody. Um, old. Bam wouldn't be the start center. I would put no, AD. That's why. That's where I was. Ooh, going. AD. 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 Definitely. But, and Tatum got to make that team the mix. Oh yeah. Somebody yeah. got to go. You know what's crazy? Oh, I, I didn't put Tatum. Tatum. Clay. You put Tatum over Clay. I put Jalen Brown over Clay. Clay ain't really? playing like. Clay. Only reason why I put Jalen Brown is because he can defend better than Tatum, and they gonna pick on Steph. They gonna pick on Steph on the guard time, so I feel like Jalen can get you bucket. Yeah, because um, Luca don't play no D. He don't, but he's six foot eight. That's true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he ain't stopped. But disregard all that, USA can't fuck with them, man. No, that team they killing them. If you, I would first personally, because I seen they had and beat at the five and Joker at the four. Mm-hmm. I would put Joker at, at the, the five, five and, and beat at the four. Well, you know what? You could put Joker at the four because he's going to bring the ball up sometimes. That's why I put him in the five rebound and run. And he's going to be like the shoot more. Oh, yeah. And Joker can grab that shit post, pass. All right. They ain't got a chance. Who's going to be the leading scorer in that game? Luka. Who's going to put up the most points? Luca, Because he's going to take every shot. Luca Giannis. Don't forget Luca pass, man. No, Luca. Luca pass. pass out of necessity. Listen, he does. He does. I have what, what, what put me on Luca is especially if, when they lose. Like, cause I had a bet one time, and I needed Porzingis to get thirteen points. He had eleven. Mm-hmm. They started losing in the fourth. Luca didn't pass the ball at yeah. all I unless he I got trapped in the air and he threw it out. Listen, why do you why? Is it age? Is it lack of talent? Why can't Team USA... They too small. Number one, our top that's, players that's are all hurt. In my opinion, they too small. But we're just saying if everybody was out. The foreigners got all the big men. They do. They do. All of our all of our top guys will be young guns. Ja. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you so, have a cat coming off the so bench. None of, I, I just wanted to... Because y'all both my guys that always disagree with me when I always say... NBA rule changes benefited the international mm-hmm. players, and now it's coming mm-hmm. back to bite yep. the United States because the best players in the league are international. Yeah. Players. Well, that got to do with skill. They got to do with the rule. Well, it actually, it does, do bro. No, because not with these guys, not with Embiid and the Joker. That, that, well, they well, all, it. all of that, all of the rule changes. Just what I'm saying is. The rule changes made kids, more kids over there, mm-hmm. want to learn how to play basket because they seen a Nash but start they getting both off. are playing seen... with them rules. It ain't but like see, just the, you, the foreigners play with them rules. But the foreigners wasn't playing with the same rules we was playing with in the yeah, 90s. That's Hand checking the, and all yeah, that, they was but, never doing that. But yeah, I'm talking about currently foreign, right now. Yeah. The foreigners are playing. But the game the is a Euro game in, in, in the United States. They grew States. up playing that. Okay. We and have to adapt to it. And all of that, the stretch, the bigs If you're a professional, you can adjust at the end of the day. But you're playing, their, you're, you're playing their style. We're playing their style. Euro step and all that. We've mm-hmm. taken everything mm-hmm. from their league and we don't even notice it. This yeah. is a European league in the United States. That's even to the a, point where they're trying to change the rule to where you can knock the ball off the rim. Mm-hmm. That's a European rule. That would you know be what stupid. But that's what they do over there. That's why it, it wouldn't make sense because the, the points would go way down. Because as athletic and big as these guys are, they'd be knocking that shot the room all day. Oh, absolutely. Down. Absolutely. But it'll get you dunked on a lot, too. Mm. You're yeah, trying I to just, go for that swipe. But they, their, game, their games are, are tailored for the outside. The whole game in the NBA is outside. It's not You can't be too physical. 
know what I'm saying? Like, even looking in the post, you look at Embiid in the post, he give a guy three shoulders <laughs> offensive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back in the day, Shaq will give you 17 shoulders in the post, drive you down to the lane, dunk on you, and keep it moving. Right. Shaq, with the, Shaq will be in foul trouble in the first six minutes of every game no. this now, league. Now, now, the other side will be in foul trouble. They'll be in foul now, trouble, too, because on offense, he's going to kill them, but he'll be getting off of the foul. Even fouls. with the next, next supposed Oh, league. you didn't say... You said the, the uh, foreign... In, yeah, international okay. team. Mm-hmm. International. This is an international league. Mm-hmm. Even who's the hype more now? Luka. Victor Wimbenyama. No, yep. I'm talking oh, about the, the new guy. Yeah. The new kid right. coming All I'm gonna say is Ash. with the with the you saying it's a uh, a this Euro a League. Euro League. When we go to the Olympics, we usually dominate in Olympics, and that's a Euro style. Yeah, game. you, you know taking why? the best of the, in the world. Yeah, you, no, 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 no. You're taking all the best from the United States playing, and all these uh, Euro they players in the league, they're scattered through mm-hmm. everywhere else. Yeah. So they're not all on one team. True. So it's now but, it's now Luca playing against an All Star team. Hold on, hold on, no, that, that's not the case. Because, yes, it does. Hold on, that's not the case because some of them they be good, but they no. don't be NBA. Spain. Team. They yeah, be loaded. Yeah, yeah, Spain was loaded back when they had Argentina was loaded. Back when they had Skola. France them. was loaded. Yeah. That was a long yeah, time ago. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Luca and them over there, they're not usually. Croatia has like two good players. players. That's, why, no. that's why they're not winning. No. That's why USA dominates over there, but mm-hmm. over here. They're the best players. This is their league. Is. Even the most dominant players. No, they're, they're amongst even, the best players. They're even not the, even the, the most players. dominant players, if you say Giannis, Joel, and B, they're both international players. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you say... The last you, two MVPs of uh, uh, That's killer, only two well, out of the top five. Like, like, like top five, yeah. somebody like Luka is going to go against any... Go at anybody. Cold killer. He don't care who's mm-hmm. guarding. He's right. going to play like he's at the playground. International player, and right. these these American players are good, but they're not these guys. Nah, you got that. You got that twisted. Them guys is tough, but let's not act like the new American players that's same on that level or better. No, I'm oh, not. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, who you going to say besides uh, Joel Embiid and Giannis is dominant, like complete dominant? Nobody. Like we don't have that no more. Yeah, like KD's not even as you dominant. Mean, as dominant used to be. in the post, or I mean, just dominant period. period. Listen, like if they wanted to, they can't be stopped in this. LeBron league. James still can't no, be can't. stopped at forty years no, old. Man, he just had thirty eight points the other one. night. Ooh. Ooh. LeBron Listen. James just had thirty eight points the other night. Man, he I'm cannot a be fan, stopped. But his game is different. Bro. It is, but it's he different. still cannot be. John Morant can't against? be stopped. Who was who was that? Now that's winning. something. An NBA team. Because if he was playing against Giannis and him, he wouldn't have gave Giannis no thirty eight nah. points. You got your motherfucker. I'm glad you said who was he playing against because when I use that. In the other subject, I'm gonna use that. Okay. But, but all right, Steph so Curry can't Josh can be, stopped. be stopped. No, he can't. You make Josh shoot jump shots. I have, did, Josh, you, did, did you just he, not watch him last night? His jump shot is getting better. Did you not watch him last night? He ain't consistent. You watch him last night? I ain't watched him last night, but I know Josh has. Well, he'll have a good night. Let's say he have a good night. Consistency. Consistency. Like this year. No, ho ho. Lucas jump shot is not consistent. No, 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 no. I don't want to say this year. I'm saying. I'm going Staff, to push Dame, them guys been consistent two, mm-hmm. three years yeah. shooting the ball and right. all of that. Right. What I'm saying is, Ja got to get a little bit more. That's consistent. consistent. But hold Not three Steph months and Dame in the league. is more so unstoppable on the jump, mm-hmm. jump shoot side of things. They can get to the basket too. Ja's more yeah. unstoppable get to the basket yeah. and he can shoot a little bit too. Yeah, they're two unstoppable. They're all unstoppable yes, in different what ways. I'm saying is. With Ja, you got a pretty good chance of stopping mm-hmm. him if you just let him shoot. But he might, he might not get it. That's easier said than done because you can't stop him from getting to the basket. That's you can I mean, play. He can be a three point line with the foul line. He's still going to get to the basket. Yeah, that's but then you got to think about like this, Steph. You think you're gonna make him shoot? All right, you're gonna crowd the three point line. What are you gonna do? He's gonna step back to half court and still start or he's knocking gonna go shit past down. You and or get blow by you. That's event. what I'm saying. But like, so that's why you say Steph can't be stopped. Kyrie can't be stopped. AD's the only Kyrie person to stop AD. Good. Yeah. No, it's no, a few, it's no. A few guys gives, can... gives yeah, AD hell. You're talking about. I'm uh, talking AD, about. AD, he gives AD nah. hell. Well, I'm talking yeah. about dominant. Like, man, them, them dudes get off, but I'm talking about there's only two dominant players in the league. <laughs> they can be, like, straight on. I'm talking Giannis mm-hmm. and Embiid. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's they it dominate. Yeah. They are. But dominant. that's dominant. We're looking at dominant from because they're big guys. Well, when I'll you give come you a to guards, guy. there are some dominant guards. Jamal Murray could have been dominant if he didn't get hurt. He was on his way to but, being but what people think Jai is. Do we consider yeah. them? Luke is dominant. 
do we consider the guys from Canada foreigners yes. or they do? They're or Wiggins, Americans. Wiggins and everything. They they, they all foreign because they are. Canada they, is North America. They, they <laughs> hey, but it's still Canada it's still, is North America. It's U.S. versus it's everybody. International, bro. Mm-hmm. Yep. Listen, that's how you know U.S. is doing bad. Look, you trying to take? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Look, that's how you know the league has got so bad. No, it's not. Because at the end of the day, when you say international players, you're bunching them all together mm-hmm. as one continent. You're not saying Africa. Europe, Asia, I mean, no, you're yeah, saying yeah, international. Yeah. All, so that includes every continent mm-hmm. over there. So if you're including continents, because Greek freak, Siakam's from Africa, okay. um, Joker's from Serbia or whatever. So at the end, they, they're not from the same country. The United no, States is that, one country. They're yeah. all from the same continent. So Canada is North America. <laughs> At the end of the day, so what the fuck is y'all it, talking about? You go count it. You go bro, count, but we it, only they only count us. No, no I'm it. listen. I'm not counting them either. But I'm just saying, technically, <laughs> we need it. We, we, we need do. We <laughs> do. We need Wiggins <laughs> off the bench, bro. We need. We need, we need, bro. We need Shy Gilgis Alexander off no, the we, bench, bro. I say Shy, but we don't need Wiggins. I'm not. Little so Wiggins can get you a bucket of some defense, bro. Listen, man. They don't win that chip without him. Some of them options we would have had, bro. Boom. I don't know about that. Nah, even I, even shit, they the got R.J. US Barrett coming off their bench. Who? They, that could be their last man on the yeah. international bench. Nah, yeah. And get you 15. No, he, he <laughs> you won't even make the team. Who, R.J.? R.J.? Oh, R.J. 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 make team. it, bro. Oh, R.J. not move. making that team, man. Oh, if he is on my team, he make it. Y'all, not, past why, out y'all, y'all, it, it y'all watch the Knicks as much as I do. R.J. is not on, making that team, on though. It depends on who you putting on there. Especially though. if you taking Canada dudes. He not making the team over Jamal Murray. He not making the team over... He might uh, make it over Jamal Murray. You out your motherfucking Now that Jamal Murray... Jamal restarting. Yeah, he might make it over Jamal Murray. Boy. He might make it over Jamal Murray. Jamal, Yo, he, RJ he had a good year last year, bro. He's not going to make it over uh, Pascal. He won't make it over... Am uh, I the only person that thinks Shane. Pascal Siakam is overrated? Who? Yes. I'm the only person? No, you you, you are, he's, 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 he's right where I think he should be. He plays defense. He plays. He's good offense. And he can take over because I've seen him take over in the clutch. Right. People talk about Pascal like he's got a, a all-around game. He does. He does. He does a little bit of everything. He can't night. shoot to save his he damn got, life. Well, he can't, but he it's better than it was, yeah. but it was trash. It's so it's just garbage now. Not being able to shoot and being able to hit a shot. He can hit a shot. I mean, anybody in the NBA can hit a shot. Not everybody. Not everybody. I'm talking about, open, they gonna hit him. That's true, but I'm talking about when I'm taking over the game. Mind you, the team he's on ain't that good. Yeah. They're as no, good as they are because no. of him. But listen, he ain't even the scariest player on that team. Listen, any dude, no, he might not be. I'm but taking Van Vliet like, and the no, young boy over him, all, the two young boys. That's only because Van Vliet can hit a shot. Yeah, Van Vliet can take over a game. Well, OG I'm, is nice too, but yeah. he ain't better than Pascal. What I'm no. saying is, we seen Pascal go from four or five points a game to being the no, I give him that. guy on the team. I give him that. So I, I give him that credit Shout out because for that. even. Even when Kawhi left after they won a chip, a lot of dudes Hell thought Pascal was going going to turn he, down. He took it over. Like, he was getting them extra baskets mm-hmm. because Kawhi was getting all that attention. So, I and, get Pascal. I, I think Pas- Scotty Barnes is a better player than Pascal. I've seen Scott Pascal. Scotty Barnes is nice. He yeah. may get better. I, I got Pascal. I've seen Pascal with right 40 now. point games taking over. I've never seen R.J. Barrett do that type of shit. Yeah. They don't let him. You if you, you got if, all, if we uh, just open. Our offense is open. To do you open, you but they try and run it through Julius. Then they try and run it through Derek, and then they then they run it through Kemba for a little bit. Like they they can't no, just. Kemba was always sh- on the shit list. My, my yeah, problem, he was, but they would my, just let my it go. Problem with RJ is like I've seen him for like four or five years now, and he still can't go right. That's my problem with him. He can't go I right get, at I get all. What you, I get with you. So I, it's like no growth. He needs. Me. He needs to be traded. He needs to be on a team where, like, like a Oklahoma City, or or a team where he can grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, he don't have to be the man, but he can be like, the man. Like, for the man in the That's like, the thing. Um, he can't be though. I want to give y'all an example. Like I've seen, even though they lose every year, I've seen De'Aaron Fox get better every Much year. Better. Yo, way better. They get, you know what I mean? <laughs> RJ got a little better on the jumper, but yeah. he got to be able to go right. And he got better on the jumper because he can spot up in the corner and hit the yeah. tray. <laughs> yeah. Fox is getting past it, yeah. yeah. pulling up yeah. mid-range. Right. He's a jump shot away from being an MVP candidate. Yeah. RJ ain't got Real it. Soft. Shout out De'Aaron Fox. He definitely get busy. Would he make you? Would he make that twelve team USA? Yes. I don't know. Yes. I would have to see a yeah. list of guys because it's a lot of guys. That Shit, I like a lot of guys. Demontis Sabonis 
International. They they roster stupid. Listen, the big men though. That's true. That's true. Before you even start though, Vito, one thing I will say: guys that always be hurt all the time. I'm putting De'Aaron Fox over. Like Uh I would take Uh them. But we're talking. Listen, see, I don't equate injury with skill. We're talking about non-injured skill. Hey, listen. I'm putting AD in there. I'm putting I'm not, I'm not Paolo Banchero AD. as one of our top rotation no, guys. Banchero's international player. He's from Seattle, ain't he? No, he might have played in Seattle. Banchero's an international player. Man. Is he? I think he I was thought, born I thought he was born in here. No, it's like families from out of, just, uh, out of the I, U.S. I just read an article where they was talking about the same thing, swapping players. Right. But they put an actual 12. Well, whatever he from, he's a bad motherfucker. Paolo, yeah. listen. Yeah, the best. only thing I don't like about Paolo is that he went to Duke. That's it. Okay. You sure. know, I got Duke hate. You know, I'm, I grew up a Tar Heel fan. You, you, know you hate, hate, hate. You oh, express hate. your hate oh, for I'm... the Cowboys. Hate, hate, you hate, you hate, look hate. at Banchero up. If you ain't home, I, I hate you. <laughs> NFL. Y'all, mm. y'all, I know y'all want to talk heavy. We in week 13. Mm. Um, You know, I can't talk heavy. Bottom <laughs> of the barrel. Talk light, nigga. Yeah, I'm going to talk light. Listen. You're going to diet talk. Week 13 power rankings. Who's your top five? It says teams? he was born in Seattle. Yeah. Born in Seattle. I'm claiming Paolo Banchero. All right, we're going to claim that's him. My, that's my seventh we, man off the bench. We're going to claim him. Seventh, that means he's the 12th man. No, well, I mean, he's the second guy coming <laughs> oh, in. He's right. seventh man. Oh, all right. John's my, my, uh, my sixth man. Okay, y'all want to go power rankings? I'm with it. Boy, I'm going to let y'all go because I, I, I just want to see what I, I set saying. it off. My power rankings, everybody won, so my list didn't change. At five, I got Minnesota. At four, I got Buffalo. At three, I got Kansas City. At two, I got Philly. And at one, I got Miami. Dolphins still undefeated when Tua plays the whole game, so that's what I'm going off of. I feel slightly disrespected by that. I feel right. <laughs> But not for the same reason God. as you. I feel disrespected. I don't why you feel disrespected? Because I feel like people are disrespecting what we doing. I'm not disrespecting what y'all doing, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> y'all got one loss. Y'all mm-hmm. ten and one. Mm-hmm. When Tua plays the whole game, start to finish, they're undefeated. So that's why I got them up. Their three losses, two of them. Oh, oh, before you say that, let me ask you this. Um, you know, since San Fran got CMT, we undefeated too. So does that make a difference? Oh God, here we go. That's all y'all was in the basement though. You can't be top dog. We're currently the on the top. We're hey, number three in the, in the NFC. Y'all in the trash division. I ain't gonna hold you. No, no, no. <laughs> y'all on the top in the trash division. Oh, hold right, on. We ain't got nobody with more than five losses. And y'all yeah. also got the y'all on the bottom five of strength of schedule. That's why. Yeah. Do the math. Because we ain't played each other yet. No, y'all All played each other. Was, y'all put, lost we, to the worst team in the other division. We played two division games. And we still got four more listen, left. Y'all played two division games. Do the math. Three left. Sorry. Y- y'all lost to the worst team in y'all division. Yeah. And y'all beat the Cowboys without Dak. History shows since um Hurts been in the league, he ain't beat Dak. He going So well, you do the math on that. I can't, it's not gonna happen this year because when we play the Cowboys, we're gonna be sitting at home chilling. So that means he ain't gonna beat Dak again. He ain't gonna play. Well, Gardner Minshew may beat Dak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually like Minshew. Listen, he's not a bad backup. Uh, anyway, we getting off. Subject. But yeah, all right. So yeah, disrespectful to my spot. So, okay. So where's your five? My so five. you just feel as though I should have had them number one. You don't you care that two is undefeated. Y'all got you the got best to. record. Y'all you the don't best care that two is undefeated. We are the best team. No, y'all not. Y'all got the most best complete record. team in the league. Y'all no, not. I think y'all... Miami's the most Hold complete on. team. I don't think so. They defense Miami banged up, bro. Xavion and all them just came back. Yeah, but there was other cats out too, but. All right, listen to this. You saying your most complete team? Mm-hmm. Y'all defense be getting scored on like a yes. motherfucker. Yeah, and Green right. Bay. By bum Green teams. Bay just Green Bay was the, first, the most we Detroit put up. Detroit put 30 something points on y'all. Yeah. First game. Come on, man. Who else put up 30 other than Green Bay? Y'all struggled with the Colts. Uh, y'all struggled Bay, with Detroit? Jacksonville. Yeah. We struggled with y'all struggled a lot of teams with and we beat them. Green Bay, too. Yeah, but we're talking. Y'all oh, beat them. But right. we're talking. You said complete. So y'all defense. If you know who's saying, like, friend, y'all. Struggle my, with the Miami Bears, bro. We lost to the Bears. Yeah, exactly. Miami Took that up. smoking teams, though. That's but, what I'm but saying. But Miami's also been a situation where they had to come back. I'm going to give them props. Don't get me wrong. Miami's up in my top three. Y'all had to come back, too, on worse teams than Miami. Recently. Come back on Recently. Worst, no. You had to come back, yeah, on worse teams. Recently. Y'all but that's what I'm saying. But like, that's what they've been in the game. So I'm going to give them their props. Y'all got the benefit but, of the doubt against listen. Jaguars because it was raining. Y'all was losing 14-0. Let, and then y'all got two games. Listen, back. You got to kill us. But before we go to y'all top five, right, um, 
Y'all lost one play on the defensive line, the injuries. And I know he didn't He's make y'all defense yes, look does. that bad. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, I don't think y'all defense is really as good as people thought yeah. it was. Our, def- like, our problem on defense is defense. the coach. Yeah. Our problem on defense is the coach. That's the problem. Dude gets scared to start games. And I don't know why he don't want to just come out killing cats. He had Tyler Henneke looking like he was the real Tom Brady. You dig what I'm saying? Right. He let them hold the ball for like 20 minutes in the first half. Y'all couldn't stop the run. That's, why That's our coach. Against, y'all couldn't y'all, stop the run against um the Green Bay? Good. Two Andy, good run. That's Andy our Andy coach. Andy That's Andy what I'm Rose trying to tell you. And y'all couldn't stop we the pass against the Jacksonville the or um, what's the name? Or Detroit. Listen. That's what I'm saying. It's the coach. You got the talent. You got one of the best secondaries in the league. You got one of the best defensive lines in the hold, league. Hold on, hold on. But listen, y'all got some of the best cornerbacks in the league. Them safeties. True. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold what up, CJ. Tops in the league listen, interceptions. Listen. Oh yeah, yeah. I said corners. This well, he's a safety. Thing. This is my. He's thing. Thing. He's our safety. Listen, this is my thing, and I had this conversation with my guy. Well, my guys, right? He's a Marcus. <laughs> he he's a diehard <laughs> Eagles fan, and I'm like. Darius Slay, nice. Mm-hmm. Bradbury, nice. Mm-hmm. Um, even adding and Dominic and Sue, y'all got a couple other pieces this nice, mm-hmm. right? But when you just look at those individual guys, none of them guys have ever won nothing. Darius Slay, has he mm-hmm. ever been in the playoffs? I don't know, but no, last year, played? just last year. I mean, yeah, yeah. but how about but Bradbury? he's with Detroit? But I can't. That's what I'm, how about Bradbury? They all coming from shitty teams. That's what you I'm can't saying. look down on somebody because they Not, win them. No, no, what I'm saying is. Experience counts when it, it comes does. to the playoffs. So these guys that look good, they might not look like that in the That's playoffs. But see, you still got cats. You still got, cats. You still got top cats that got playoff experience. You got still got top cats that got Super Bowl winning experience. And, and Your leaders, K- Kelsey Fletcher Cox, both won the bowl. Man, Fletcher, still there. Flet, but what I'm saying is, the other guys, the, the has the bottle. The uh, other guys uh, is uh, irrelevant. <laughs> The mother guys is irrelevant. Everybody that's next to Fletcher is irrelevant. Every like they, none of those guys have won. Maybe no, no. maybe uh how long uh oh, like Brandon how Graham. The Saints y'all got there. Brandon, how long, Chelsea? Chelsea's how long only he been was over the Saints? I think like three, four. So years. he hasn't even no, experienced no, no, no. winning when when mm-hmm. Breeze. That's what I'm. But that don't mean you're not a good player. If you that don't mean you can't. I'm not saying you're not a good player. What I'm saying is somewhat experience is gonna matter. Somewhere there, and remember, unless you that good, nah. unless you that it's, good, because remember, y'all squad ain't had that much. Super it's Bowl different experience. in football than it is in basketball because if your coach if, know what he's doing, the first thing, no matter how it, much it, listen, you got, if the up? Eagles is one and done, the first thing they going they're gonna point at is the lack of playoff experience on that team. Y'all know it. No, well, I'm you not. can't say that because they most of the team was there last year. We went no. to the playoffs last year. I mean, we got cooked. But, but what, I'm, what I mean, playoff experience. Oh, you mean a deep last run? year and like wins. Darius Slate played last year, but he lost. But what yeah, happens true. when teams that all got all the fucking experience to get knocked off in the first round can't say it wasn't doing experience? Yeah, it's got to be a good combination. What I'm saying is, you usually have to have somebody on your team that is did some yeah, type yeah. of winning. True, true. You see what I'm saying? Somebody that can carry you through. But like I said, we got we got the leadership of the team to do it. You know what I'm saying? I think people are really disrespecting us because they're, they're like you saying, like we paper champs. Like y'all at the top, but who you played? We play who's on our schedule, yeah. and we beat them. But strength you know of schedule does matter, and only I notice only Eagles fans are saying it don't because it benefits. Them. I'll say it, it does, does to a point, but being hot matters more than your strength of schedule. That's because that Pittsburgh does. year they won a Super Bowl, Giants. they weren't great team. The Giants, the Giants got they got hot. Too. You know what I'm saying? And they right. won like That's they why was it's not tough. How you start is how you, you finish. Exactly. But what I'm saying is y'all winning, but y'all still y'all give up but we gonna get healthy at the right time. Hopefully. All of our players are coming back before the playoffs. make sure what you putting on tape ain't going to come back to haunt you, though. It's true. It's true. Because that that that, that defense is... And we've they, seen... They leak in the last couple We've weeks. seen what happened to y'all in the playoffs when they stopped Jalen Hurts from being able to do all that running. Y'all ain't look good. I can't go by that because that's a different Jalen. Jalen this year and Jalen last year are two different players. We, two we different got, players. We got to see. We got, I, I got to see because I've been saying the same thing that my die or... Our Eagles fans is like, we're going to see how good Jalen oh, yeah. really is. In the playoffs. When they make him have to throw the ball 30 times and he can't get 100 yards on the ground, 
then we're gonna see if he's the real deal or if he's. Well, he's been, he did that. So Remember that's how we started the year. But let me ask y'all this though. He definitely got better. One and, he definitely. did get better. Definitely. But if he's one and done again, is it is is, is it a smoke screen or is it gonna be an excuse? If he's no. one and done again, I feel like they might draft a quarterback. No, I they not because he's still good. I, no. If they're one and done, they just lost because it was a smoke screen because it they were playing less of talent throughout the regular season. Okay. If he looks bad, they go on quarterback. No, like, we got they we got not. a we got a top five nah, draft pick coming. Think they're no, going they're to. Listen, right not I hope ta- not. What's your top five? <laughs> I so said. I already know the Eagles is one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I know be- the way Vito replied, San Fran is down in his <laughs> top no. five. You already know. So, so, number five, Minnesota. They still got to get their props. They're nine and two. Okay. All right, no problem. I'm going to say this with my chest. Y'all know I hate to say this, but Dallas is number four. Wow. Shout out, shout out, Kyle. He was asking why nobody got Dallas in the power oh, range. I hate to say it. I have they to. lost to Green Bay. That's why. I have to say it. They, I, I contemplated putting them I there. hate Let's to say it, bro. Come but out. Hold on. Before you say anything, Vito, I'm going to keep it a C note. Um, before I put Dallas in my top five, I'll probably put San Fran. Yeah, I think mean, San Fran is a little bit They just got to get the record. Their defense is a little bit better. They just got to get the record. And they getting banged up. Your boy, what's up with oh. your boy, Elijah? Oh, yeah. he always hurt. Yeah. Uh, get, same injury, different knee. Yeah. That's going to hurt y'all, bro. No, it ain't. I don't know, man. You can't kill Christian. You, listen, you know he, he already ready to get hurt. First and foremost, my man touched on it. Listen, fuck the injury. My man touched on it. I don't give a fuck who you put in that backfield. They going to get busy. And Mason... San Fran got one of them teams. Mason they is got, a combination of strength and speed. The young boy, the rookie boy we got, mm-hmm. they got in the end of the game, he's a combination of strength and speed. So I will I give worried. y'all coach 100% of the props. No, I'm... I'm he's he's the reason why we be losing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Because he's so smart. He tried to outsmart dumb. himself. <laughs> exactly. Because my man's scheme is one of the nastiest... If you notice... Everybody's trying to copy what San Fran been doing for the last five years. All these motion packages and stuff mm-hmm. that started in San Francisco, but where you had a wide receiver going around doing that arena, he, he arena uh, he too, football he, screen. But my thing is, he's too conservative. That's it. He like, don't want to air it out. Maybe he's scared of Jimmy. Jimmy G, but fuck it, he ain't there. Go that moment. But my thing is, how you gonna be scared of Jimmy G? You go try to air it out with Trey. Jimmy G way more accurate than Trey. We don't know that because we ain't seen Trey play enough. Well, he threw it. <laughs> he well, threw ahead, it, but man. all right. So yeah, all right. So Miami's number three for me. Okay. Because I can't put them above Kansas City. Okay. I can't do it, bro. And I almost put KC above the Eagles, but the record is what the record is. KC so, is my number two. That's a scary team, though. And Kansas Eagles City is one. And Eagles is number one, baby. Okay, and we're gonna be for the rest of the year. Shout out to that. <laughs> Who you got? Vito? Listen. Originally, my list would have been different, but then I actually thought about it. I noticed the power rankings is different every week. Mm-hmm. So that means that shit is really based on who's playing good currently. Right. Okay. So my list is based off that. Number five, I'm going to go Buffalo. Okay. Four, I'm going to go to Eagles. Okay. Yikes. Number three, I'm going to go Miami. Yikes. Number two, I'm going to go San Fran. And number one, I'm going to go to Chiefs. Oh, he's biased. Call him a No, I'm not. No, who's put playing better than us right you now? You put it's Miami. Four. Miami. Undefeated. Look, we're undefeated too. I'm talking about all oh, you. Not, not no, they're not. Christian, I'm talking about with Tua. Yeah, exactly. With Tua. So they're not undefeated. Yes. I'm and nobody with, scored with on us. Two, the last four games, nobody scored on us in the second half. Yeah, that's that's good money. Y'all ain't even cross. That's why. That's. Y'all even cross midfield when we played okay, y'all. Right, you got, that's overkill. <laughs> that's overkill. That's overkill. <laughs> you ain't even got to do that right yeah, here. No, no, no. You deserve that shit because after the Super Bowl, boy, you was up here. Listen, I'm <laughs> still up here because we, our race is still oh playing. We're champions right now. <laughs> and, 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 and my, for, for my Cowboys fans, the reason I ain't make it is because I lost the Green Bay. You still gonna hold that Green Bay victory? Because the Eagles, too- the Eagle, when the Eagles played Green Bay, the Eagles beat Green Bay. So and that was the two, the two. You know well, saying, Minnesota beat going, Buffalo, you so you gotta drop Buffalo. Huh? Minnesota beat Buffalo, so you gotta drop Buffalo. No, nah, so but what you uh, Buffalo beat better one, teams than the Dallas. He's saying he's only putting one NFC East team in, basically. Yeah, because I feel like my personal opinion, I feel like Dallas is better than the Eagles. If they play head up with that, I feel like they would beat the Eagles. But the Eagles, the only thing got the Eagles in it is their record. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I want to see it, but I, I don't I Listen, don't know. That, that game, for a minute, that game was getting, they was getting busy with the Eagles, but yeah. then it, sh- it the showed that Cup is, is played, a backup. You got to play more than But it, it, it showed that their coach is stupid. 
They could have beat us. They ran the same exact play. The literally same exact play. Three plays in a row got three first downs. Why would you stop? Okay. Why would you stop running that same play action that's class and running that's, that that's, that's why they not did. But that's, that's, that's what coaches that's do. That's what be making me think the NFL is rigged. Because they, they, they look listen, like they outsmart themselves. So. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you play, and I know Madden is not, if you play anything, mm-hmm. if I could keep Senate putting young ball in the post and scoring that easy, why would I do anything other than that? If you keep running it up the gut 15 yards of play, why would you pass the ball six straight times? Never. Why? Never. Unless he's falling down. It's no I'm not way. Doing. It's no it's no way a coach and I I know not not just coaches, but people in the world. We have people out here dumber than bricks. That's true. We do. But it ain't that much dumbness in the world <laughs> that you're gonna tell me this guy just popped twenty yards, three straight plays, and then you don't go for him for a whole quarter. Hey yo, how do you think the ego of the other players has something to do with that? Because if you notice in the basketball game, right, somebody get hot. I mean, he done made four threes, he going to the bucket, getting fouled and everything like that, they start going away from him. That's that's, but, it, that's you know what I'm saying. Like but you that, think it's, it's other team. players because Golden State don't do that. It, it, it's the other. It's the players. That's most so other teams. Golden State's it's an the anomaly. The ego that means is all fall on the coach because the coach. Has I don't to control care the ego. what the you place. come down and you get that man to rock. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like my problem with the Sixers. Every time a beat is hot, somebody got to jack up some stupid ass shot. Right. If he is killing them in the post. He gets the ball in the post every play until they stop That's it. That's easy. Because yeah, he, he can be killing them. The he, he can kill him in the post. Because I, I forgot who the fuck was y'all playing. It might have been Toronto. And he he was killing him in the post. Man, he, he stopped started and started jumpers. shooting Jays. When he's tired, take his ass out. But one thing I can say as far as when you say somebody kill him, that's why I, I give Cup credit because everybody know they're going to Cup. Mm-hmm. And they continuously go to cup, and they still can't fucking be stopped. Yo. Precision routes. They still go. Stafford is going to force that shit into him. He don't give a fuck. Real talk. Cooper Cup might be the best route runner in the league. That's it. Like that's it smart. might be hands down because he ain't faster than any no cornerback that's gardening. No he way. can't jump that damn high. Right. He's got great hands and he runs great routes. And dude is smart as mm-hmm. shit, right. yo. He he knows when to get in the space. Oh, That's why I hate the fact that y'all got. Give some of that credit to uh, Matt Staff, even though I I, I be grinding Staff. Well, he's up. still been even doing it with what's because no, I, they get they did a breakdown of what Cup does. Cup runs an option route. Mm-hmm. When he in the slot. He, he, it could either be a, a, a tennis stop, a tennis slant, or tennis go. Yep. So he gotta he gotta anticipate what that man about to do. And that's true. That that comes down to the quarter. But but he's been doing these things since golf was here. Listen, he's the reason why golf kept the job as listen, long as he did. Hey Vito, because. Call me an Uber situation. Another thing that happened is I'm like, how did how did uh Cup just go straight to 19 like that? And when I really look at it is when golf was there and golf isn't as good as Stanford, but golf was still spread the ball mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. Stanford is like, no, this mm-hmm. is going to Cooper every. And mm-hmm. maybe last year I was caught in a moment. I didn't realize it to this year when we got Allen Robinson and all that. And I noticed it in the Super Bowl. But he really is like force feeding that yeah. guy. You hear he used to be doing it his whole yeah. career. Started okay. with Calvin. With, with Calvin. With Calvin. I know, but what I'm saying, in the midst of the moment, it didn't seem like he was doing that with Cooper. Like He's lucky. It looked like it was all in the flow of the game. Before Stafford got there, Cooper didn't lead y'all in receptions. No, but, but what I'm saying is Jared Goff spread the ball well, out more. Yeah, but not, not just that, though. Even though Jared Goff spread the ball, ball out more, it's been verified that other players are saying, like, that system has been designed for Cooper Cup for the last four or five years. Mm-hmm. So even if he wasn't Lee in the team when we had golf, that was still his offense. Everything mm-hmm. was predicated off of what he did. Not Bobby Woods, not Brandon Cooks. Mm-hmm. or It was based off of what Cooper could do. Because look at the tight end. Like, since Stafford got there, y'all tight ends have been okay in production. Right. When golf was there, who's the boy? Hawkinson? H- Higby. Higby. Higby gets busy. Higby been shining though since Stafford been in. When y'all had the back went up. This year. Uh, well, year well, that's safety vibe. That's what I'm saying. Like, he spread the ball out so much, it was a detriment to your team. But I think golf did a better job of spreading the ball out. But one reason why I think he did a better job of spreading the ball out 
his Ty Gurley and mm-hmm. it's even like Vito don't give Ty Gurley, but Ty Gurley I don't give him what a, 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 enough credit because a, a lot of times you'd be like when I was talking about uh, the difference in them two Super Bowls and I'm like Gurley played in the first one mm-hmm. we didn't have him in the second one Face but he was season. hurt no he, he listen you you might be mistaken because I definitely give him the credit but I said I also said that the nigga who came in when Gurley got hurt played a bigger a big role when Gurley got hurt yeah. For that, for the, for the one or two games. Yo, yeah. Gurley was an animal, bro. Yeah. Like, the only thing that stopped Gurley really was his knees. Right. Like, if it wasn't for for him having bad knees, he would have killed the league a lot more because it's like they had to have him on a pitch count right. since he was a rookie because he came in with an injury. You know well, what I'm saying? McVay didn't have him on no pitch count, and that's what I think... He blew his shit up. I guess what <laughs> I think probably kind of... Because we knew that... I don't know if they knew, but... We didn't know, but we ended up finding out that the knee has always been bad and mm-hmm. it was no this there or no that there. Yeah. So with all their medical people, they had to do that. And they kind of just burnt him out probably. They probably took the, 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 the look at it like everybody else in the league. Like, all right, we only got running backs for a good four years. Four or five years. Right. We know his time is limited. We're going to ride this horse. But shout out to L.A. Because one thing I will say about them is we're setting trends, not just with F them picks, right? Even if you over your hill, because they knew Ty Gurley was done, mm-hmm. they still cashed him out just on the strength. Huh, good looking. They cashed Jared Goff out on the strength. You got us to a Super Bowl, good looking, mm-hmm. but we going to get rid of you. So they they definitely cashed their players out on, on, on the lookout tip. But let me ask y'all this, though. Um, the turf. What's your they, thoughts they about the turf? Got to change it. Get rid of it. I don't even know why. Ever, well, I know why they put it in, but Bruh, it shouldn't be there. The vet was the prime example that turf kills people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody said the turf of the vet was the worst, but you literally putting a pad on oh, concrete. Right. And they're basically doing it to Listen, make money with the venue. There's an mm-hmm. injury called turf toe. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. For a reason. Right. And, then, <laughs> and that's crazy you say that, Vito, because I never paid attention to turf toe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I was just watching a documentary on how so many people get hurt on the turf. And mm-hmm. it's like these clubs get this much money. Like, how you can't afford a different stadium where it's just y'all stadium? If you're trying to make money. That's it. RG3 and Jimmy Garoppolo both tore the ACL because of the turf. Mm-hmm. You see, especially fucking RG3. Whew. His shit went backwards damn there and nobody right. touched him. A lot of that shit come from that turf. Listen, speaking of that, let me ask y'all this, though, right? In our era, whether it's football, basketball, playing it, watching it, have you ever seen so many people blow ACLs, MCLs, and all that? And I'm talking about non-contact. No. No. You know what? I came... I was actually thinking about this. I have a theory for that. 20, 30 years ago, they didn't play... They played 40% of the amount of sports they play now. Right. You talk about baseball, basketball, football, hockey, any sport. These kids are going to camps. They're playing in all yeah. extra leagues. Yeah. These kids are playing year long. Year they round. never had the rest. Yeah, so by the time they make it to the pros, you've got a lot of built up. Some of these wow. injuries probably started years ago. Yeah. And just when they get to the pros, pop, 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 right. pop. That's, that's you know possible. What I'm but them baseball dudes don't be getting them injuries like that. Yeah, but Tommy like, John, but, but they blow their arm out. But, but that's listen what now. Us as basketball players, how many years did we play on concrete before Whew. somebody actually told you it was bad for your knee? Until you probably we, was a yeah. grown man when you found that out. Like 25. And you even did. the NBA, the prior eras, you didn't see that many ACLs. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Achilles. Yeah. I, I, I can't recall ever back in the day seeing a non-contact injury. A dude blew his ACL. It probably was the hand. But I'm but saying, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. I can't remember watching an NBA game in the 90s and the dude just did an awkward move and he blew his ACL. Nobody touched. NFL neither. I don't remember that. Donovan McNabb was the first person I remember tearing his ACL. But that's later. I'm talking that's what about but, but, but even think like, about that. Like, he was the first person I saw tear his ACL from a non-contract injury. And I've been watching football since the, the mid-80s, since I was real little. Right. These injuries just wasn't happening like that. You know what I'm saying? And then as soon as it, it feels like as soon as it happened to Donovan, the whole league just opened up. ACL, ACL, ACL. So that's a, that's a, that's a perfect, because we got people, shout out John, brother X, uh, 
Congratulations. Oh, congrats. I didn't get to shout you out. But Johnny Blaze, we, we got some people that'll be like, ah, sports is rigged. They faking injuries and all of that. But your theory kind of makes sense that they're playing. The they sport. play too much. You know what I mean? Like, That's what's definitely your, possible. Yeah, what's your thoughts on it? Let's, let me tell you my thoughts. If I was a pro athlete, I would play to like my contract. My contract, four years, would fake an injury for three and on that fourth year, I will ball out to get another contract. And I will fake another injury for three. You're going to kawaii the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah, they like, oh, nah, they going to be hip to you. Vito? He want to sign to Charlotte? They going to be hip to your movie. Well, well, Show me his medical. It looks like this is what Michael Thomas is doing right now. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah Michael Thomas. Scheme. Thomas still. Listen, week 13, Deshaun Watson is back. Six games left. Cleveland is four, four and seven. Do we have any expectations for Deshaun Watson? The last time he played football, um, I can't even remember the last mm-hmm. time he mm-hmm. played football. Mm-hmm. Y'all got any expectations for him? I think they should be better. He can't. He can't be worse than Jacoby. Jacoby yeah. was consistent though. He bro. is, but that's what I'm saying. Deshaun I think he will be worse. Than- Nah, I don't Bro, have, he ain't played organized football in almost two mean, years. I, I, listen, I don't, that shit don't mean anything that you get from Deshaun Watson to me is a bonus. I don't expect him to come out and go six and zero, oh, five and one. Me either, but I don't expect man. him to make no. But you gotta remember, he a different type of quarterback. He, he a gunslinger. He, he will he throw was, some interceptions. Was, he was he, yeah. five ball, he, right? he, will, he will throw some interceptions and, too. At one point, Deshaun was oh, like yeah. a top five. Yeah, ball, right? he can yeah. run the ball. My thing is, I don't know if, if you're a professional athlete, you've been playing football all football, basketball, whatever. You've been playing all your life. Even though he ain't played in two years, I'm sure he's still working out. He might not be in no, game yeah, he's shape. working out and do all that. But at the end of the day, like, it might be a little bit of rust because he ain't played in two years. But at the end of the day, I'm not expecting him to be, just fall off the face of the mat. If he wasn't a quarterback, I wouldn't say that. Because, number one, quarterbacks don't even take live bullets in practice. Mm-hmm. So the first time he's going to get hit in two years yeah. is on the but, field. But think about a dude like... Kurt Warner, who got called in from a fucking grocery store, think about came it, in and got true. busy. Listen, you saying that? Think about a dude like Josh Gordon, who got Wide chances receiver. and couldn't get right, but he couldn't get right. He couldn't get he, right, but when he, he got on that back. field, nah, he, was he still, ain't do nothing on that first, field. When he first came he back, what, what, maybe one time he had that, a couple that, that strong games, no, but he would still get suspended he, every couple that weeks. That was due to the team he played for. True, because if he went back to and he was the man. Listen, I, I, I think we need to stop doing that because I think we give dudes the benefit of the doubt when we say the team they play for. Because that makes to all me, the difference. Unless your quarterback, unless you want to sit up here and say their quarterback was trash, completely trash, you can't say that. Yes, you can. It's the system. Well, think of, nah. Just think about this. When he played, they had like five different quarterbacks. Think about this. Think about Pittsburgh Steelers. Right. You got San Antonio Holmes, mm-hmm. um, Mike Wallace, dudes mm-hmm. like that. Dudes that was the shit when they was in Pittsburgh. When they leave, you don't even know. Deion Branch was the shit in, in, New, in, England. in New England. When they leave, you don't even know who the fuck they are. He so system trash. does play no, it a can. part. It can. System can play a part. But a star is a star. Period. Nah, not, not always. Listen. Randy was, Randy was invisible with the Raiders. Everybody Oof. was invisible with the Raiders. Boss that was, was invisible terrible. With the that, Raiders. Like Eric, oh, Sap was invisible with the Raiders, yo. That's my point. They <laughs> both were stars, and when but Randy I, left, I he was Randy said. again. Nah, but, but, but what I'm saying is, some it is a difference from I was a ball, I wasn't no good on this team. I some what? I was a ball on this team. I wasn't a ball. On it. can, it's a difference from wait. being a ball. Can we to talk never about being him? a ball? Since you brought it's, the name up, can we can we clear the real history? Was the ball? He went to uh, Raiders, it wasn't tra- shit, and then left and was the ball again. Right. So it, but it's a difference from somebody that was. My thing is, Randy was already the shit, so mm-hmm. we know that that quarterback was trash. What I'm saying is, again, and I never mean to pick on nobody, but is it Justin Fields' fault? Is it Darnell Mooney's fault? Mooney ain't never been nobody. Though. But I'm just saying. Uh, that, I'm about, just, yeah, I'm just saying. With not just when you take Fields out, the quarterback, whoever was the six quarterbacks before that that played with Mooney, is it their fault or is it the quarterback fault? Like, is Mooney really okay? But listen, all I can say is scheme 
coach, team, a lot of that shit makes a difference. Because you can be a bum ass nigga on one team. Like, I give you a good example. Jeremy Lin. We never knew who the fuck he was. He was going to state. But what about coach. football, though? I'm just saying any sport. But what about no? Well, every what I'm sport. Saying, well, football's different. Football is a little scheme is every, important. Every different. every sport. What I'm saying is you don't really. We can say a nigga ain't shit, but we don't really know how good a nigga is if he's in a bad situation. If you come to, if you get drafted number one overall, nine out of ten, that's a bad team. Like who knows how good Jamarcus Russell could have been if he nah, played with a good team? Nah, see, he ain't want to work. Nah. That's why I call he you. Ain't no, you don't know that. Jamarcus, See, Jamarcus was, is one of them guys Jam- I talk Jamarcus about. Jamarcus Russell is the arm same strength, dude as Cam Newton. Arm strength and nothing else. But Jamarcus See, Russell is the same dude as no, Cam Newton. Yes, the no. fuck he no, was. Cam's he work ethic is way different. No, he wasn't. We, we talking about throwing the ball, running the ball. He was Nigga, the same dude. Cam what? was built like a tank. Ball. Dad, yes, you're mm-hmm. built. Don't got nothing to do with Jamarcus Russell was built like a mobile home. He couldn't move. That don't got nothing to do with how you play on the field. But he didn't prepare. Quarterback is one position where you have to prepare. Jamarcus yeah. Russell got drafted number one on the strength of his arm strength. He could throw 70 yards. They didn't yards care easy. if he could read a defense, if he could hit somebody five yards mm-hmm. out. All they cared about is he could throw the ball this 70 situation yards. They thought matters. he was going to be the next Dante Look Cole at Raheem Parker. Mostert. He was a kick returner his whole career. He got mm-hmm. the same friend. Somebody got hurt. He became a fucking number one. And then he went got picked up from by number one somewhere else. Carlos, what was the name? What was the boy name we got from... Um, Washington, Rogers, last Rogers, name Rogers, corner. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and Washington it was invisible. He came to San Fran with a good defense or surrounding him. He was a pro bowler. Josh Norman. I mean, it's true. Exactly. But, this, but does age that makes play a factor in that? Age can play a factor. Age can Because everybody loses a step, except for Deshaun Jackson. Everybody right. loses a step. You know what I'm saying? But can, can I talk about this non-D thing real quick? Yeah, what you gonna can say? I can I can I keep you're it a seat on the out there? I'm pissed off about the Nandi thing because you talk about somebody being sold to you with the greatest advertisement. Yeah, they talking about oh Nandi's got it going on over in Oakland. Don't nobody throw at him. Blase blah. Right, bro. Let's not forget the scheme, and let's not forget he had at some point he had a Hall of Famer playing right behind him. Woody was right there. Right. Pause. Pause. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He was right there covering him up. So it's like, all right, yeah, he never got thrown at, but he never got tested. When he came to Philly and they was expecting him to be a shutdown corner, he was lost. Right. Lost, bro, on a defense where you didn't even have to do that. Shit. This is what I'm feeling like Let me tell you what I'm feeling like 